In this experiment, we will be burning a candle made from a compound containing only carbon and hydrogen atoms and observing the products of combustion. First, lime water is added to the tube on the left hand side. Lime water is a calcium hydroxide solution which is used as a test for carbon dioxide gas. Secondly, blue cobalt chloride paper, a test for the presence of water, is placed into the U-shaped tube which is then placed into a beaker of ice and water. Finally, a candle is lit using a flame and placed under an upturned glass funnel. The glass funnel is connected by a piece of rubber tubing to the U-shaped tube, which is then connected by another piece of tubing to a glass tube inserted into the lime water. The tube containing the lime water is connected by a final piece of tubing to a running tap, which causes gas to be drawn through the entire apparatus from the funnel above the candle. This means that the products formed when the candle is combusted are pulled through the entire apparatus and can be tested. The candle is left to burn for several minutes. During this time, Note the colour change of the lime water in the tube on the left. The lime water started as a colourless solution, as seen in the bottle on the bench top, but over the course of this experiment it has become white. As carbon combusts, if it has access to sufficient oxygen, then carbon dioxide is formed as a product. The equation for this reaction is shown on screen now. The calcium hydroxide in the lime water then reacts with the carbon dioxide in the gases being pulled through the apparatus, forming a white precipitate of calcium carbonate. The equation for this reaction is shown on screen now. In the U-shaped tube, the cobalt chloride paper is testing for the presence of water. As the gases are drawn through the U-shaped tube, when they get to the portion of the tube in the iced water, the gases cool down. Any water vapour in the tube will condense and turn into liquid water, which is then tested for by the cobalt chloride paper. The paper changing colour from blue to pink indicates the presence of water. At the end of the experiment, notice the build-up of black soot, which is carbon, on the glass funnel above the candle. This is due to incomplete combustion caused by insufficient oxygen as the candle was burning. Another product of incomplete combustion of carbon-containing compounds is carbon monoxide. The equations for the production of carbon monoxide are shown on screen now. As we inspect the cobalt chloride paper in the U-shaped tube following the combustion experiment, we can see that it has changed colour from blue to pink. This indicates the presence of water in the combustion products. This is caused by the hydrogen atoms present in the candle reacting with oxygen from the air and forming water vapour, which are then drawn through the apparatus. The equation for the formation of water during combustion is shown on screen now. Finally, as we observe the left hand tube, we can see the presence of the white precipitate of calcium carbonate at the bottom, formed from the reaction of the lime water with the carbon dioxide in the combustion gases pulled through the apparatus. An alternative test for water besides using cobalt chloride paper is to use anhydrous copper sulphate. On the addition of water, this white solid turns blue in colour due to the formation of hydrated copper sulphate. The equation for this reaction is shown on screen now.